And Steve, there was a big uh, news in Blue Jay land today. They finally checked off one of their boxes and found a replacement for Paul Beeson. Big deal? Well, everybody seems to think it's a big deal, Mike, although I don't really understand why a new president is such a big deal because quite frankly, what does a president do? I mean, it seems to me he's given a budget from Rogers. He's, I guess he's in charge of who the uh, general manager is and whatnot. But other than that, how many day-to-day -day decisions does he make? Is he a sounding board for the GM? Why is it such a big deal? Well, it's a big deal in that uh, maybe because he's replacing Paul Beeston, who's kind of like an institution in the city. And also, he might bring in new ideas. Paul Beeston had the team nailed to the uh, cross of no more than a five-year contract for players. Mr. Shapiro might be coming at the right time, especially trying to re-sign a David Price, say, and maybe he can convince ownership that he might have to go to seven years. I guess that's possible, Mike, but if he can do that, more power to him. But I always felt that, um, you know, if Paul Beeston couldn't get Rogers to cough up a bit more money throughout all these years when they were sort of mediocre, I don't understand why Mark Shapiro can do it. Well, maybe that was part of the sale. Maybe uh, when uh, part of the negotiations, uh, we won't know that until they finally sign somebody to a seven-year deal. But the funny thing about it is that in replacing Paul Beeston, you got to look back and remember when Paul Beeston was hired, he was a uh, young accountant with uh, virtually no baseball background at all, and then he became one of the uh, most highly recognized uh, uh, team presidents in, in uh, Major League Baseball. So whether Mr. Shapiro has got a terrific background in baseball, but being president, I think it's uh, the financial end of it uh, is uh, more important than the on-field decisions, which should be left up to his general manager. Right, and I agree with that. And I think kind of the sad part about it is that Paul Beeson is leaving because, you know, in a lot of ways, he was, for, for a president of a baseball team, he was pretty beloved in this town, which is pretty unusual for the president of a ball team that hasn't won anything in over 20 years. Almost as beloved as you, Steve. Almost. Not quite, though.